hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are in the united arab emirates uae in search of fully funded masters and phd opportunities wherever there is a scholarship we are there to bring it to you so these are numerous opportunities for international students worth thousands of dollars if you convert the equivalent actually several scholarships for international students for masters and phd precisely at the khalifa university in uae so before we begin let me show you the range of courses in this university so i went straight to graduate admissions and then I went to the different masters and PhD opportunities at this university. So why that loads? I could show you the different kinds of scholarship, both in uh, medical scholarships, general scholarships in other different disciplines, and scholarships for Chinese locals. So any of these, you could be qualified for them. And all of them are fully funded, guys, fully funded. So let me show you what the legible course is. It's a long list here, and majority of the courses here, as you can see, are in the engineering and um, medical science and a bit of art as well. So you have the engineering department, you have art and sciences, and then the medical sciences. So be also aware for those courses only for UAE nationals. So where this is not indicated, it means it's open for international students as well. So let's go back to the scholarships. So the first one is the KU, that's Khalifa University Medical Scholarship. It's worth 27,000 dirham. I believe that's the currency, 27,000 dirham. Then if we convert 27000 to dollars, let's see the equivalent. That's a lot of money. That's over 7000 US dollars. That's a lot of money for a monthly stipend, if you ask me. So it's covering 7000 US dollars and um, full tuition, attendance to conferences, both within and outside the UAE university accommodation at no cost that's free and as well as textbooks for the university this is a beautiful wonderful offer and if you're interested in the offer i told to contact this number this um, email address i meant to say but you also need to apply for the course remember one of the courses we've checked here so if you're interested in that medical course the graduate medical course you should be applying to one of these um, courses here then there's also this one for expatriates almost the same benefits as well so let's go to non-medical courses other graduate courses at the university so it also covers full tuition fee medical insurance covered international conferences also covered you can see here uh, flight assistance you can see the stipend here. So this one is 4,000 dirham. Let's see the equivalents in US dollars. That's a thousand, close to a thousand one hundred, which is fair for a monthly stipend. And I think from there you might have to pay for the student accommodation. There are still more here. As you can see, you can check them on your own to see which one suits you. So what are the applications requirements you might ask? How do you apply for this? I believe you first have to apply for a course. Check for any of these courses or go to the general admissions page. The general admissions page, go to postgraduate. and see the applications procedure. From what is written here, it says, first 
select a program, we've showed the list of programs already. And then here contains the deadlines. So there are two admission circles, two admission cycles. The first one ended 10th of January, which is past. And now we have another one on the 30th of April, which I believe we can still meet. And it says that international students are encouraged to meet the first deadline, but still you're allowed to submit in the second deadline. Sometimes you're even allowed to submit after the second deadline, but I wouldn't advise that. Try to target the, the second deadline since the first one has passed already. And by June, you get the application, your application outcome. So what are the admissions requirements? What documents do you need to put together? So this is the degree requirements, three out of four in your undergrad studies. That's usually a second class or par. English proficiency. So you can talk to the university if you do not have an English proficiency certificate and see if they can give you a waiver. That's a discussion you should have with the university. Then a statement of purpose of why do you want to study there, what skills do you intend to learn, what are your future goals, and how will the skills there help your future goals. It also says an admission interview. So you might be called for an interview, probably online, to discuss why you want to study there exactly and what skills you intend to learn from that university. There's also a guideline for a PhD for those interested in applying for PhDs there. And you can see the list here. There's a lot of um, other information here like conditional offers or things like um, things like English exemptions, for instance, those that will be exempted from the English language test. So you could read that carefully to see if you qualify for um, the English language waiver. There's also a guideline on how to write a statement of purpose. For a PhD student, you might be told to write a research statement or a research proposal. There's also um, a format on how to do that. Um, GRE, there's also um, indication of those departments where GRE might be required. It's not required for other departments, I believe, but it might be, might be required for certain um, departments. So check closely and see whether it, it applies for your department or not. So there are other required documents here you need to provide as well. And I believe for the scholarships, I think we've seen it already, there is an application form here or format on how the scholarships should be um, submitted, how you should apply for the um, graduate scholarships. I think we've taken a look at them already here. But you can inquire a little bit further if it is not clear. There's usually a contact person, usually a contact email to send your inquiries to if you're not clear if you're not clear about the modalities or the, the procedure of application. And that's it, guys. A quick one from the Khalifa University at the United Arab Emirates. You can see the juicy offers here. Take advantage of them as much as possible for both MSc and PhD opportunities. So one here was about 27 thousand dirham which was close to seven thousand us dollars i believe there is another one here that's about four thousand which is about a thousand one hundred there's yet another one about eight thousand here for msc twelve thousand for phd so there are different varieties of um, different kinds of funding and i think you have to clarify with the university to tell them this is the one i want or this is the one i wish to get and things like that and they would probably lead you on how to actually apply for it. So do not be afraid to approach the university on the particular modalities of applying for these numerous opportunities. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. We'll continue to feed you with opportunities for masters and PhD all over the world. 
So get to work and we cannot wait to see you at the top. Bye-bye for now.